Good morning, farm fam. It's about 5.30 in the morning. There's a lot of frost this morning, and I am up bright and early yet again. We're gonna empty my mom's car and get it all ready to go to the butcher, and we're gonna start loading chickens before the sun comes up, because that is the easiest time to wrangle chickens. So, come on with me. Let's get this day started. just after eight we have arrived I have filled in my forms and I'm all ready to go there's a few people ahead of me and I always like to help and hang other people's birds because that's what I hope someone will do for me so while we wait I'm gonna go throw on gloves and help the gang out <laughs> these guys are getting antsy so I'm gonna get out and let them calm down Can you open the door for me? Thank you. Wow. Hi. This either went really well or really poorly at the really butcher. Well. Which is it? We did really well. All good. All good. Farm fam, it's already been a long day, and I still have to do chores. So, Harper and I are gonna go out and do chores. Her sister is napping. We're gonna go up to the barn and make sure everyone has food and water, and let the kitties out to do some exploring for the day. And then we'll come down and see how much we can get done before your sister comes out to join us. Sound good? Okay, let's go. Oh, 
those are yours. That's Ginger and Rachel and Rebecca. Those are your bunny rabbits. That one is Rebecca. Rebecca. And this one is Ginger. Hi, Ginger. So much I stole your bicycle. It's all said and done. Now, honey, you won. I'm gonna leave for a while. Walk out, out the door. Forget my troubles and move to Memphis. Maybe change my name. Since you left me cry at your door I'll never be the same I'll never be the same Go boss Come on Who's hungry? My dog And these two cuties, I think these two cuties are in early stages of what the heck is going on with my body. Definitely been seeing early signs of baby coming for this one. She's, again, she's got clear mucus coming from her. And you, you've just gotten huge the last few days. Right? You're just huge. And how do you look? Can you move your tail? You're loosening up, but you're not as loose as Una. Okay, is Una just being wily? Hey, Una, you want to tell me? Yeah, so same thing, same thing to report, but they're just being, they're being interesting. Yeah. The cows want to 
ciudad. some time putting together these are kitting spaces kit kitting spaces for my baby rabbits the idea is that the mom the three does that are pregnant in the next 23 days will be expecting them to kit or deliver their babies and I'm hoping that they choose to do so in these three boxes I'm gonna put them in three separate spaces around the stall that they're in I'm still hoping to have them be colony style for the winter um, as long as you give them the space to individually kit and raise their litters, you usually don't find there's too much of an issue. So that's what I'm hoping for. I do plan to remove the buck in about two weeks time. Um, but for now, they're all going to stay together because it's just easier for care. And if they choose to have the litter somewhere else, it would be a surprise because they don't have many other hiding spots in that stall. But if they do, that would be fine. It's just that these are super easy to check on my litters, which I do like to be hands on and check on them and, and make sure that they are growing well. So uh, yeah, quick and easy solution for a colony style uh, rabbit litter box. Litter being like where they're going to deliver their kit or their litter of babies, not litter. My rabbits don't need a litter box. I just rotate the hay and do a deep litter method. So yeah.
summer's ready. I'm gonna leave the door open for you girls to come in when you're ready, okay? Come on in, Harper. When you're ready. Go to work. Get him. 